Hey, what's up YouTube? It is Captain Shock here. Yeah. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to use Combat Focus. And Combat Focus can be found on the Warfighter rig. Combat Focus is extremely powerful in the right hand. So you can actually change games by using Combat Focus properly. And I've been using Combat Focus since Black Ops 3 as my main and this video is part one of the combat focus tutorial i'll have to include a part two in another video coming up soon now when you activate combat focus and you kill an enemy with your weapon you get 200 points and if used correctly you can absolutely change games i've done it before and it absolutely shreds enemy team once used right here. But of course, you need to have those higher streaks, right? You can't just have the lower streaks and using combat focus. It's, you know, it's not really needed if you're a good player. But if you want to hit those high streaks consistently, especially against good competition, combat focus works a charm. So to make things clear, you don't need it if you're just using lower streaks. If you're using higher streaks, then it becomes very useful and makes a huge impact on the game. However, if you're a beginner player and you really can't get your normal streaks, your lower streaks, then try out Combat Focus, it will help you a lot. But for as for making an impact on the game and enemy team, like destroying them, you want to use the higher streaks. It takes a longer time to get the Combat Focus charged compared to say if you're using the FTL with Phase Shift or the Synaptic with Rewind. So of course if it's going to take a longer time to charge, it means the game is saying it's more valuable because you can get those streaks, right? So when you do finally get your Combat Focus charged, you don't just want to activate it randomly and searching for kills. You want to be sure that you can get those kills. Now watch the situation. I enter the building, I have my Combat Focus charged, but what do I do? I don't activate it because I'm not 100% certain that it's the right situation. And of course, there are multiple enemies around me facing me head on. I don't want to activate it and then die. And obviously, it will be wasted, right? I will not get use of it just like that. So you see, you really have to be confident, first of all, that the enemy's back is turned towards you and or you can shoot them from the sides and from the flanks and you will see it happening so now i'm assessing the situation i have my combat focus charge i see those red dots i take him out he gets destroyed don't come at me like that i know look i'm pre aiming the area but watch this i see an opening i see some weakness i activate the combat focus look at this boom watch the juicy score that i am getting with combat focus so look at this and look at the score streaks at the right just filling filling up and getting charged you see that do you see the power of combat focus when used correctly so what happened there well first of all their backs were turned to me and i saw an opening so i activated i was confident that i could get those kills and i assassinated them inside there because it showed some weakness and i took advantage of it and i got my full streaks easy like that so only activate your combat focus when you are sure and certain that you can get the kills and you can get your streak off it but a huge tip is don't just activate it straight away and get the kills make sure you get a few kills beforehand without combat focus and build up towards your score streak so when you do activate your combat focus it will just fill up the remainder of the score streaks very easily and then you can overlap your streaks again potentially and that's part two of the combat focus tutorial you can see how powerful it will be once you start overlapping your score streak so what do i mean by this i mean you can get double wardens double tours and just continuously chain it together like that and enemies will have no chance against you and i cut parts of the tour out as well but you'll see what i'm doing i'm trying to build towards my other streaks watch i leave the tour now and look what i have i have a warden and i have a counter uv and my combat focus is charged so i can potentially get my second set of streaks very soon as well right so i just have to look at the correct time and they need to give me the opening and i will take that and activate my combat focus and get my second set of streaks very easily so now i'm keeping that in mind i know that i'm close to a streak again so what do i do i enter the power position and i'm ensuring i don't get killed from behind or from the sides and the power position will help me out with that and look i get my warden right here and i don't even have to use my combat focus right now because i use it so efficiently the time 
before and this is the fact about chain and streaks once you start chain and streaks it's over for the enemy team what can they do unless all of them just come out with launchers that's the only way they can stop your streaks but but at time hopefully your teammates will kill them when they're using the launchers so you can see how powerful it is and i have that combat focus ready and waiting so in case worst case scenario they start bringing bringing it back which is very highly unlikely i can just pop the combat focus and get another set of streaks so it's almost a guaranteed win if used correctly and that's why I rated the Warfighter rig so high in my top 5 rigs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like guys if you did. Please share the videos guys if you don't see me grow. I'm a small YouTuber. I'm trying to grow. And do subscribe if you haven't already. Take care. Bye.